Now then, welcome to another video. So, a couple of weeks ago, I posted an update um, that I had a hernia. Um, I was in a lot of pain and stuff. So I've actually had my surgery now, uh, and I've been forced to kind of sit still and do nothing. But while I've been sat still doing nothing, I've been painting stuff. So what you can see in front of you is some of the stuff I've managed to get painted in the last few weeks while I've been sat at home sitting still and doing nothing. So um, these were all pretty much German allies um, from Napoleon's army in 1809. Um, and we'll just quickly go through them. This is, these were all based up for Blucher or Adler 6mm. Um, so these guys here are Hessen Darmstadt, Lieb or Leib Battalion or Leib Regiment, two battalions. Um, hopefully that's focusing on those. Yeah, so they came out quite nice. I'm not quite sure if the flags are correct, but you know, never mind. And these are uh, Leib Guard or Lieb Guard. Again, Hess Darmstadt. Um, let's see if I can get that to focus properly. Kind of. It's always difficult to focus on these uh, small figures. Yeah, but I really enjoy painting these. So that's the uh, Hessians. Uh, and then we've got two brigades of Bavarians that I've done. This is Infantry Regiment 3. Again, not sure on the flags. I just printed some off and used those. In fact, I didn't print these ones. These are um, from Maverick Models, these flags, actually. Again, all the figures are Adler, 6mm. Um, again, all based up for Blucher. I actually had a few games of Blue Canal, it's really good. I'm really into it, so I'm quite inspired to get some more stuff done. Um, and this one here is Infantry Regiment 6, again, Bavarians. A little bendy bayonet there, there we are. Yes, yeah, so that's those. Uh, and then I did four brigades of uh, Baden or Baden troops. So this is. The Lee, Lieb Regiment or Lieb Regiment with Baden. Flags again by Maverick Models. Um, bendy bayonets. I do, oh, Gordon Bennett. I do try to um, pose these so that the bayonets and stuff aren't sticking over the base, but sometimes they do. I need to paint the edges on those flags, actually, don't I? I'll get that done at some point. So, yeah, these are um, quite elite troops. So like the skirmish trait and the steady. Um, I think the Baden or Baden. I, I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm gonna call it Baden. Um, regiments were quite good. There's infantry regiment two. Much the same thing to be fair. Use the Bavarian figures for these and just paint them in uh, the Baden uniforms. Infantry Regiment 3. I've actually put a, a gun on this base. I um, just marked it with a, a black dot there. Show that it's got attached artillery. Yep, so that's those. And these have got the red facings, yeah. Dark red. Uh, and then Infantry Regiment 4. And these have got the white facings. Again, with an attached artillery battery. Yeah, really enjoy painting all these. Really cool. Um, it might look difficult to paint, but to be honest, they're not really. Once you get into the swing of it, it's just a black undercoat and you're literally just putting dots of colour on, to be fair. Um, all right, moving on to the cavalry I've got done. So I've got some more Germans here. These are Bavarian Chevalier. So you've got this... Uh, second and third Chevalier regiments in their green uniforms, um, different facing colours. That flag I know is wrong, but I couldn't resist just putting a flag on there. And at this scale, I think I'll get away with it. Well, I quite like the smaller scales, to be honest. Bavarian uniforms and Napoleonic uniforms in general can be a bit of a, a minefield, can't it? So, yeah. So this is a mixed brigade of German sort of allied cavalry. So you've got Baden Dragoons on there, the Hessian and the Württemberg Chevaliers. That's those. I think the Baden Dragoons are at the back in the green. These guys. You've got the Württemberg Chevaliers at the front there. 
And then who are the other ones again? The Hessians are there. Really cool, really nice figures. Um, and then I did a Bavarian artillery battery as well. And there it is. Um, there we go. It's Bavarian horse artillery, this one. Just to add to my French and Allied forces. Um, so that's all the German allies. What I did as well while I was at it, I got some French cavalry done. So these are Chasseurs de Chavelle, or Chavelle. So we've got on here, we've got the 19th and the 23rd. Two regiments of Chasseurs on there. And then this one, oh, I have to lean across. Um, is the 3rd and the 14th. I actually had command strips for these ones, so I'll put some flags on. I kind of run out of command strips, but I thought sod it, I'll just put them on anyway, because I don't think they actually carried the flags into battle with them, the cavalry regiments. I might be wrong there, but yeah. So that's all the sort of troops I've done, really, for my Lucas stuff. And, but what I also did, I did some commanders. So we've got, who's this? Druo. There he is. Uh, who's this? Marshal Lan. There. And who's this? Davu. Sorry about the paint all over my hand. I've just been undercoating more stuff. And then I did Napoleon himself. There he is. There's the man himself. Look. Broken cannon there. All these little staff officers hanging about at the back. Yeah. Turned out quite nice. I do like the Adler thing. It's brilliant. It's such a shame they're getting... Oh, well, they're going into... Well, he's retiring, isn't he? I think I heard a rumour, actually, that Heroics and Ross are taking them over. I hope that does happen. That'd be great. So, that's all my six mil kind of uh, Napoleonics I've been working on. Um, I've had quite a few games of Blue Canal. Uh, it's really good. Really enjoy it. So, I'm going to crack on with these. Um, and had some more Austrians, and I've got all the Imperial Guard, I've got the Young Guard, the Old Guard, Guard Cavalry and Artillery and all that stuff to do as well. Um, yeah, so onwards and upwards with the Luca project. Right then, so what else have we been doing Napoleonic-wise? Okay then, so not content with one scale, I decided to do 28 mil as well. Um, now, I did have a plan of doing the Brunswick Corps for 1815, uh, and doing it in 28mm. However, um, looking through the lists and everything, I'd need quite a lot, to be honest, to play Soldiers of Napoleon. Um, you need quite a few uh, battalions and things. And once I put it all in my basket on the Perry website and stuff, it, it was a little bit eye-watering, the amount of money it was going to cost me. Um, and for something that I probably won't play that often, because um, I probably prefer Bluka, to be honest, but... Um, yeah, it was just a bit much, although I, the, the miniatures themselves are amazing. I really like them. I really like the Brunswickers and, and how this battalion came out. I decided I'd have a look at a smaller scale for Soldiers of Napoleon. So the plan with these, I think, although I hate to do it, I might just rebase these onto individual stands and use them for sharp practice. Hmm. Possibly. I'll leave them as they are for now while I have a think about it. But I'm going to stick with the Soldier Napoleon. So I had a couple of games of that now and I really enjoy that as well. Very different game to Bluka, um, but in its own way, it's a really good game as well. I really enjoy it. So, what have I done then? So, as I said, I'm going to use a, a smaller scale to play Soldier Napoleon. Just shift that out of the way. Just give me a second. So, what I've done, gone for 10 mil. So, I sent Leon at Pendragon an email and asked him if he could do me a custom order, which he did. Um, and I've got the entire Brunswick Corps for 1815. Um, everything I'll need, all the battalions, the cavalry regiments, the commanders, all the skirmishers and the artillery and everything um, for the same price as two battalions of Perry metal Napoleonic. So, 
it's a no-brainer for me really um, it's a lot smaller easier to store and well it's just a lot easier for me to be honest so as you can see while I've been off sat around doing nothing putting my feet up I've been painting <laughs> Brunswickers as well so these are all the light battalions I've got the the light battalion at the front and then the first second and third light battalions I've got uh, the horse artillery battery Got all the skirmishes for the battalions, and I've got the the Ulans done as well. So let's have a closer look at some of these. So uh, the live battalion. Let's see if this will focus on these little dudes. There we are. So that's the same battalion as as the one I've got at the back there, but in a smaller scale. It doesn't want to focus, does it? Oh, come on. Get the idea anyway. Very difficult to paint black at this scale and make it look vaguely interesting. So I went a bit mad with the uh, with the little blue parts and stuff like that, just to make them stand out. Then we've got the the first light. These are buff coloured facings, um, like buff coloured stripes on the legs and things. Obviously they've got blue buglers instead of drummers. No standards were carried by the, the light battalions or the light battalion. And we've got infantry regiment, light infantry regiment two with the yellow facings. There they are. Um, I've just gone for four bases per battalion uh, and one skirmish base. Um, infantry regiment three, orange facings, looks a bit red. It is orange though. So that's the third battalion of light infantry there. Um, and then for the skirmishers, what I've done is I've just gone for three figures on a on a standard size base. Skirmishing, that's the first battalion's skirmish base. Uh, and then the light battalion, they don't actually make any skirmishers or firing line guys for the light battalion so what i had to do was get some green stuff and make these plumes on them so they're the same figures as these but just um green stuff some sort of black horsehair plumes on top of their shakos shakos no sculptor but it kind of works i get away with it the scale i think so that's those little dudes um what else so the artillery battery just two guns in Soldiers of Napoleon. So this is the horse artillery. They've got the black horsehair plumes. Same as the light battalion hussars and things. Um, and a kind of blue gun. What I had to do, I couldn't get the right colour of blue for that. So what I did was I mixed grey and the pale blue together. To get sort of more washed out pale blue. I don't know how well it's come out, but I think that'll do. I think we can live with that. So that's the artillery battery and then I did the the lancers that's the lancers there or the ulans really striking uniforms and I think they they kind of pop quite well at this scale these little dudes let me show you some more of those quite happy with how these turned out maybe the blues a little bit light but I deliberately did that because they're a small scale and I wanted them to stand out against the black yeah, there we go. There's the Lancers, just three bases, because it was a small unit for the Lancers, and then I did a commander. I believe like a little brigade command stand for them as well. That's a live battalion officer, and then that's uh, an officer from the 1st Battalion on horseback. Just acts as like a little brigade commander for what is in effect the, the light brigade of the Brunswick Corps. So all these empty bases here. I've got the Duke of Brunswick to go on there. Hazar Battalion. Um I just move my camera across slightly. All the skirmishers. I've got the advanced guard, uh, which are the guys armed with rifles, and then three bases of them will be the advanced guard Jaegers. And then I've got the first, second and third um line battalions, a foot artillery battery and their little brigade commander as well. Uh, I'm on, and I am on with painting those now. So hopefully by the time I have to go back to work, I'll have this whole Brunswick Core 1815 done. 
Right. Um, the plan is I'm going to do the entirety of Quattro Bra in 10 mil. Um, and I think that'll work for my table. I've got an eight foot by eight, five foot table. So I'm hoping I'll be able to squeeze it all on at this scale. So if I keep the battalions fairly small, like I have just four bases per battalion, um, I think I'll be able to fit it on. Right, well, thanks very much for watching. Um, Napoleonic Madness, doing it in three scales, but I can't help myself. They're just great, aren't they? I like Napoleonics. It's uh, it's good fun. It's a rabbit hole you can really disappear down. But thanks very much for watching again, uh, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.